we're going to be making a video on how to light the uni pro or how i light the uni pro and this is how i light it so i firstly i make sure i clear out all of the ash from the previous cook put the stone in and that, i put about that much lump wood in it's always about that much never any more at that stage just to show you how much I use for each cook and this is the amount of kindling I would use to start the fire off seven pieces of kindling and then I use a log about one that size the first thing I do is I put my lump wood into this grate and it's got holes in which is so the air can go up from underneath there so this is how I start my uni or any wood fired oven this is how I start it and I did try using a chimney starter which is one of these so it's a big metal object with a handle and like a grip thing to help you tip it and I started to use this I was recommended to use a chimney starter and I think that for most people it works really great but for me it didn't and I've stopped using it and the reason why I have is because I use lump wood charcoal to start off my fire and they come in all shapes and sizes but they're mostly really quite small pieces so if I just put those in there and a few more I think you'll understand what my issue is um, yeah they all come out the bottom and to be honest I had that problem I've got it on a video I'll just add this link in so you can see what happened and so all the coals basically coming out the bottom and I <laughs> it was dangerous I did have a plate underneath but it's um, it's not quite the same really because what you're supposed to do is you put the hot coals from here and then you tip them into the into here so I was it was just making things a lot more complicated and unless I'm using it completely wrong I think the only way this would work for me if I had thicker pieces of lump wood and they stayed in there or there was a finer grid at the bottom so for me this is pretty useless for what I need it for and that's why I don't use it and to be honest this is such a quick way of doing it you're not carrying around hot coals from one machine to another you're just you've got them all there in one place it's less messy this tray has holes in it and all the air is going up there so when you light it it's it's like a perfect it's like a chimney starter but it's actually in the oven and that's what's great about this oven the chimney starter is in the oven and you can use it like that so what I do is I put my gas I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos before you can see that I I sometimes light it from under here and I'll show you now and I sometimes light it from above I always light it with these on top that's the first thing I do put my lump wood in there make sure my stones are in and the doors on then I place my kindling sticks like this and then I crisscross them the air goes underneath like that and then I get my gas now you don't have to use gas you can use any other lighter that you like to use when you light fires as long as they don't impact on the food in any way so I use gas because I think it's the fastest and quickest way for me to light the oven so I'll do that now so you've got your gas so you can either go under there you've got to keep your your bottle your bottle upright um, otherwise you get a flame <laughs> as I've learned and yeah that's pretty scary I don't like it when it does that but 
Um, if you keep the bottle upright, it's fine, and sort of angle it towards the charcoal. You're going underneath and getting all of the, the base bits. So you can do it that way. Or you can do it, what I end up doing most of the time. I do it from above and I get the wood to light at the same time because the wood seems to be a better conductor of heat at this point. The charcoal lump wood does take a bit longer to light up than the wood so the wood gets it going really fast for me. So after I've lit the wood it's pretty much good to go. I think I do this for about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. You can see it taking already. So I make sure I do a bit of the charcoal and a bit of the wood at the same time. And I think this is so much easier than for me using a chimney starter anyway. It's all in one place. So I just stand here and wait for this to light. Stand back if you need to, because <laughs> sometimes there's a bit of um, like ember stuff burning off and it can catch your skin. Um, try and sort of get it so it's like evenly across the back of the oven not just on one side but just try and maneuver it so I'm I'm pretty happy with this I think this is this is just going to take now so I don't know how long I've been doing this but I, I'm busy talking so I think I should just stop talking now and turn this off and that'll take nicely so I've turned the gas off now so you can actually hear me properly. I think that's caught really well. Put the lid on and let that catch. Make sure your this thing is down and make sure your door is on. One minute later I just want to show you how much it's come on. So that's just in a minute and it's pretty much heating up nicely there. And the temperature's gone up to 60 degrees centigrade in one minute, which is about 120, 150 degrees Fahrenheit in a minute. Just wanted to show you after two minutes. Oven is at nearly 100 degrees centigrade and 200 and 222 degrees Fahrenheit after two minutes. Three minutes, so that's coming along very well. And the oven is now 150 degrees centigrade and 300 and something degree Fahrenheit. This is four minutes and the kindling is pretty much all burning up and the oven at four minutes is nearly 250 degrees centigrade and 400, is that 470 degree Fahrenheit? I can't see the, it's all steamed up in there. So it's about now that I put the log on. Once it hits 250, that's the time I put the log on. So it's at the, about the five minute mark when it's all settled in there. I get my little metal tool, which I don't have on me, I'll go and get it now. And I'll show you then what I do when I put the log on. This is the metal tool and so at this point now, I just quickly show you 
Where we are, it's going over 250, heading for 300 now. It's definitely about five minutes and 30 seconds. I'm going to just take, stand back and take the back off. Don't do that. <laughs> There's like one just gone. I'm gonna to have to pick those up now. But um, I spread out the, the the kindling. It's extreme heat coming from here. I'm standing well back. I spread them out like that now. So white with heat. And now I put my log on. I put my glove on because the heat here is strong. Put my log in there. Temperature's gone down a bit because I've been fiddling at the back. So I've put the log in 20 seconds ago and I just want to show you the temperature and the inside of the oven at this point, which... So the oven's at, in the middle, which is a good base to go from if you're going to cook your pizza. 258 in the middle right now with an air temperature of 250. The log's been in there for a minute. You can see it's caught really well. So the log's been in there for two minutes. I'm just gonna show you the oven. And it's really going for it. And the, the middle of the stone is 28, it's about 300. And I'll show you the back. Two minutes. Three minutes. And the oven is now at an air temperature of 350, which is about 660 degree Fahrenheit. I'm just gonna show you the inside of the oven. Whew. And measure the stone, which is at three forty. So I'm not going to open the oven again now. It's it's about uh, five minutes. I'm not going to keep opening the door because that's not what happens when I cook. So I think me opening the door to show you the temperature is reducing the the oven temperature. So I'll keep it on now until the air temperature gets to about 500. Um, let's see how long it takes. So the air temperature there is moving up to 450. I'm just going to show you the log at the back now. going to take the door off just to show you how hot it is in there now. So there we have a middle temperature of 434. Just give it like a minute more to get that middle temperature to 450 and you're ready for your cook. You can see in real time how fast the oven is warming up on the dial again after opening the door. It's really, really hot in there right now. So that's been about a minute since I checked on the stone temperature. I just want to show you the log at the back at this point. So it's been about 12 minutes since I started the fire. We are now at a temperature of 450, 460 in the middle. That's the perfect temperature I cook the pizza at. So it's ready to go in 12 minutes. So 
So after seven minutes, there's still a good flame on there. So if you've been cook, if you can cook five pizzas in seven minutes or four pizzas in seven minutes, you can do it with one log. See, there's still a good flame in there after seven minutes. So if you're a fast pizza maker, not like me, I take ages. <laughs> Yeah, you can get your value, money's worth out of just one log. And there's still a good flame to cook the top there as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I just wanted to say thank you for all your support as well. And I just love making these videos and I hope you find them really useful. Thanks for watching.